Hey there you guys, welcome back. Today was the Orchid Show and uh, sale here in my hometown, Burlington, Ontario. Um, I really missed the, um, I think I missed the good one. I think I missed the, uh, the Southern Ontario Orchid Society show and sale. Uh, that was in Toronto, Ontario. I think that one would have been a little bit bigger. But uh, anyway, I wanted to take you in and show you some, uh, some photos of some beautiful orchids. Um, I really had a, an interesting time there. Uh, bought some things. I'll show you that after the video. Uh, but I just wanted to take some time and do a little slideshow of some beautiful orchids that I saw. And uh, stay tuned because I bought some things, some fun things. We're gonna we're gonna look at growing these uh, into the future. And uh, just want to share that with you. Anyway, enjoy the slideshow. Shouldn't be too long. And uh, yeah. Stay tuned.
so I hope you enjoyed that. <laughs> uh, some beautiful, beautiful orchids. Oh my goodness. Uh, I wish I had the, the names for them all. Uh, yeah, I... Uh, that's a lot of work. <laughs> orchids have so many different names, varieties, species. Oh my goodness. Uh, if it was if it was as simple as just writing down six or seven names, I could totally do that. But as you can see, there was a lot of beautiful uh, beautiful colors, uh, shapes, sizes. Well, you might not have been able to see sizes because some of them are really close up photos. Uh, but beautiful nonetheless, absolutely beautiful. If you know any of the the variety names or species names, feel free to uh, put them in the comments. Also, I will be putting all of those photos in my Facebook pro, uh, uh, page profile. Uh, and uh, if you know any of them, please, 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 please write down what variety they are or what type they are. So that any of, uh, any of us that um, are interested in maybe growing something that looks as beautiful as that, we know what to look for. Alright? So anyway, without further ado, I bought some things not from Home Depot. I just used this bag. Because afterwards I went shopping in the, at the mall. So I ended up putting them in this bag and I carried them around with me in the mall. Uh, which was uh, was a lot of fun. <laughs> anyway. Uh, some of you uh, know that I've been looking for Brassia orchids. Uh, Brad for sure. Uh, from Brad's greenhouses. I, I, he has some beautiful Brassias and uh, spider orchids. And they just look stunning. Absolutely stunning. And I just, I don't know, in my area, brassias are not readily available. So I asked him if he could find them, send some my way. However, the Orchid Show is a perfect place to find things that are a little bit more unusual than what your garden center um, might carry on a regular basis. So anyway, I found some brassias. What? I know. I know. I found them. And I'm very excited about that. So... Let's see here. This one, I can't remember what the the seller, what his company name was, or is. Um, he gave me his email address and stuff, so I will ask him some questions as time goes on. Uh, it's He's, a, I guess, a local grower in my, my general area. And uh, this was from his uh, personal collection. Uh, it was a division of one of his, his plants. Supposedly, this Brassia... Uh, I can't even I, I can't even pronounce this brassia type. He says it's it's uh, one of the larger brassias uh, plant. Uh, the flowers are about five inches uh, tall with the um, the beautiful petals. They're about five inches tall, and uh, the the inflorescence, the flower spike, is a branching flower spike, and it gets to be about uh, three feet long. Uh, maybe a little bit longer, but he said that it's it's uh, one of the largest um, flower spikes, and it's one of the only flower spikes uh, in a brassia that uh, that will split off and branch. So that was really really interesting to me, and the price was also very interesting to me. It was only twenty five dollars. Uh, fantastic. Actually, it might be marsh hollow orchids. Uh, so I'll uh, I'll give him a call or send him an email and uh, figure out more into growing this. It's a high light orchid. Uh, uh, probably no direct sun, but uh, definitely, excuse me, a bright situation. As you can see, the leaves are a little on the yellowish side. That means it's getting enough light. Um, so let's try to uh, continue on this path. If the leaves get to be a beautiful rich green, that you know, that, that green that you really, really love, um, it's not getting enough sun. You wanted to have this this kind of yellowish uh, tone to the leaf, and that that's much better. So we'll learn how to grow this together, and in time, well, hopefully we'll see some blooms. Uh, on the brassia note, I've been talking about it, maybe not with you guys, but with uh, some of the people that leave comments. I wanted to try growing some seedlings. So in here are some brass seedlings. I'll try to put some uh, some photos in the bottom uh, for each one of these uh, so that you can see what the flowers are supposed to look like. Um, this was $25 as well. Same price as this other brassia except this one's at blooming size 
these ones will be a few years before they'll be a blooming size. I don't know if you can see in there, there's some beautiful roots. And it looks like there's probably mm, between 10 and 20 plantlets in here, little baby plants. Got some nice root system in here. Uh, I might not do anything with this for a little while yet. He told me that I can break this open and plant them up anytime. But I think I'm going to let them grow a little bit longer. I see in here some of them are quite small still. I don't want to lose any of the baby baby ones. Uh, there's probably a good 10 of them in here with beautiful root systems and they're of good size. I don't know that I want to jeopardize the, the smaller ones though yet. I'll give it maybe another few months of growing in here and then we'll, we'll perhaps transplant them. And, and look forward to more videos on this when we crack it open and we, we do a community pot with these little guys in it. It'll be a new experience for me. And I hope we can learn together on how to how to properly do this. Hopefully, it's not a complete fail. Hopefully, we uh, we have a successful time. But this is uh, well. I'll put the the name and and the photo uh, down in the bottom there. Put this up here. I also got. Bear with me for a moment. Another jewel orchid. I don't know if you can see the leaves in there. I have the Ludicia, uh, Lud Ludzia, Ludicia, whatever. Uh, either way, they're all jewel orchids. Uh, this one looks like uh, lightning bolts down the down the leaves. I'm looking forward to seeing this one grow. And what is this one? Macudesia, Spider Man. What Spider Man? I got Spider Man. Um, so I'm looking forward to this one, seeing how that one grows. I also got a beautiful uh, species of Bulbophyllum. Uh, this one is uh, Bulbophyllum Jim Clarkson uh, Sumatrinum. A seedling, this is from Clouds. The, uh, the jewel orchid is also from Clouds. Um, I've had great success with, with stuff that I purchased from Clouds. This one was $15. Uh, the other one was $20. Uh, a good enough price, right? So this Bulbophyllum, I'm, I'm very excited to try to grow them. Supposedly the flowers smell horrible, but the, uh, the blooms are fairly large for the size of the plant. So very eager to see how this one grows. Move this out of the way. Also, from our friends at Raven Vision, I know that Brad uh, posted a video on uh, on their products uh, from Brad's Greenhouses. I got some uh, fur bark, uh, small fur bark. This was only $6 for this bag. A good price. And I also got it. Uh, got it. I also got some uh, custom orchid media. Uh, this is fine. It's uh, pre-mixed. It's got some... Uh, some perlite in there, it's got some uh, vermiculite, it's got all kinds of stuff that you need in there. This was $9, still a, a, not a bad price. And I also wanted to give this a try. We'll, we'll see if this works. It's called Path Magic. Uh, it's a potting mix amendment for superior path culture. So for the lady slipper orchids, um, provides uh, slow release calcium and silica for strong shiny leaves and increased vigor uh, gently raises pH to optimal levels so that'll be fantastic we'll uh, we'll use this and see if this grows well and uh, again these are from Raven Vision uh, they're from Canada and uh, they have an online uh, order site so if you go to Raven Vision I think it's ravenvision.ca or ravenvision.com I'm not quite sure it's ravenvision.ca let me see if I can bring it right up here. Hopefully that's coming in focus. So anyway, that was uh, that was my trip to the orchid show. Uh, next year I hope to go to the one, uh, the uh, Southern Ontario Orchid Show, uh, based in Toronto. I think it's going to be much bigger. I found that this uh, one at the Royal Botanical Gardens was a little bit smaller than it was last year. And uh, I have a feeling it's going to get a little bit more small if if we continue to have the Toronto one so close to the 
the Burlington one because we're, we're really, really close together. So, but anyway, uh, next year we'll try to go to the bigger one and hopefully make a video while we're there rather than just a slideshow. It's always uh, hard because uh, during these Orchid events, they, uh, well, everybody's so close together. Everybody's got their cameras out. It's uh, it's so hard to find a spot to 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 do what you do. It's hard enough to take photos of things. You got to push people over. It seems to uh, to get in there to see things. But uh, yeah, I'll do what I can. And next year's a new year, so yeah. Anyway, happy growing, everyone. And uh, if you've been to an orchid show lately, please please post photos of what you've seen. Uh, interesting plants, interesting flowers. Oh my God, some of them are so beautiful. Uh, it's incredible. Um, yeah, I'd love to see them. I'm sure other people would love you to, to post them on my, uh, on my, uh, Facebook page so that they can enjoy them as well. And, uh, yeah, again, happy growing and hopefully spring comes soon. <laughs> We've had way too much winter. To the pot. I was going to take these Haworthias and put them in here.